I don't know if you can hear the, the laughter going on there right now. People are laughing and having a great time at our game night. And that is that brings me more joy than anything else. What's up guys, welcome to the Gaming Party Channel. I'm Mike Davis, and in this video, I'm gonna give you the top 10 tips on how to put on a great game night. And I thought, what better time to do that than when we're having a game night? Let's go take a look. So the number 10 tip for having a great game night, having food, lots of food. Right, Britton? Lots of food. Lots of food, exactly. Fantastic. Lots of food. You don't have to supply it all yourself. Your friends can do a potluck, but you need food. People are gonna be hungry, even if they just bring snacks. Tonight, we've got a lot of food here. You don't have to have this much food, but just having food in general is great for a game night because people are gonna be hungry. So the number nine tip is you've got to have drink. Whether it's soda or on the other side of this wall, if you're so inclined, alcohol. Whatever it is, you've got to have some sodas, you've got to have some drinks for your people, and you need to have also, very important, what are they at? Cups, you need cups to drink out of. Number nine, drinks. All right, and number eight is you've got to have paper products, paper plates, napkins, all that stuff. Uh, and another really important paper product you need to have, get, let's show you that. Very important to have this paper product. Very important. And the number seven best way to have a great game night is lots of seating. You need to have chairs available for everyone. So we've got tons of people inside playing games, but I've got the garage set up with lots of seating out here, as you can see. Even have AC running out of here and some music going. And so we have plenty of seating for people to strip, spread out and play games all over the place, including in the backyard too. So lots of seating needs to be available for the people. If you have 40 people come into your house, you probably need about 40 chairs at least. Number six, you need tables. People need somewhere to put their food, put their drinks, and to play games. So you don't have to have these awesome tables like I have, like for example, this custom built game table that I built. You don't have to have that, but these folding tables are fine. Any kind of tables, people need places to put their stuff, whether it's food, drinks, or playing games, you need to have tables. And the number five tip for having a great game night is air conditioning. You can hear it going here behind me. Uh, you wanna make sure your house is cool. I recommend turning the temperature down in your house a couple of hours before people get there because it can raise the temperature quite a bit. All the body heat in, the, in your house is going to make your AC go up. So bump it down a couple of degrees before people get there and have fans. I have these little fans just like this kind of sitting around. I use these to uh, make some airflow around right here. I have them turned off right now because they're making a lot of noise on the uh, camera. But I use fans all over the house because keeping airflow moving, ceiling fans are great. You need lots of airflow. Uh, if not, people get sweaty and they get stinky. Tip number four, parking. That's right, people don't think about this, but if you're having 40 some people come to your house to play games, where are they gonna park? If your street is tiny, you gotta make sure that there's spaces for people to park in your neighborhood. Also, talk to your neighbors. It's probably a good idea to talk to them to make sure they're not you know, gonna have a party the same night, things like that, or figure out ways to people can, can carpool together. But parking can be a pain. Uh, I'm gonna walk down the street here and just kinda show you what this street looks like. We're on a, a cul-de-sac, and you can see that this street is packed full of cars right now. My number three tip for putting on a good game night is music. Um, now, or maybe no music. Atmosphere, let's call it that. Whatever it is that is a fit for your group. If you've got a lot of people who enjoy listening to music and they don't mind having music in the background or they prefer having music in the background, great, do that. Uh, I have uh, my Google Chrome set up. I have it broadcast throughout the entire house, even in the backyard where we have yard games set up and it is great. People love to have some music going on in the background. Uh, if your group doesn't like music, fine, make sure it's turned off. But uh, be aware of that. Um, having some kind of atmosphere, whatever it is you're trying to set the mood for, uh, I think that helps with the game night. Number two. And number two 
tip for having a great game night is having games and activities. And it's not just board games. There's lots of things you can do with your group together. Uh, so I have a lot of board games, which I'll show you over here on my shelf, but there's other things we do also. But like I mentioned, it's not just board games. We do lots of other things here at the Game and Party Group. And yard games. Now, no one's out here right now because it's about 100 degrees out here in Florida. Yes, even at 10 o'clock at night, sometimes it's 100 degrees. Uh, but we have these set up and we'll be playing some games a little bit later. Cornhole, we got some Frisbee games. A lot of people love these types of games and we'll be playing these a little bit later tonight. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, and the number one tip for having a great game night, focus on the people. Your friends, everyone, their safety, make sure they're having a good time. Are they comfortable? Those are the things you need to focus on. Make sure that everyone is there having a good time. You've invited them to your place or your location. You wanna make sure they're enjoying themselves. If your focus is only on winning a board game or playing that one particular board game that you wanna play or whatever it is, uh, you're gonna miss uh, having a good time with those people and people may not come back to your game nights. I don't know if you can hear the, the laughter going on right now. People are laughing and having a great time at our game night and that is that brings me more joy than anything else is hearing the people out there having a good time and enjoying themselves at our events. There you go guys, that's the top 10 tips for how to put on a great game night. I hope you enjoyed this. If you got tips, some maybe something I missed, then let me know in the comments. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our podcast, and you can find us on all of our social media sites on GameAndParty.com. See you on the next video.